like doing that. So I remember my brother coming home from, from school and he was telling me about Mormon missionaries that went to his high school and started talking about the church. We have a religion class. And his religion class, his teacher invited people from many different religions to give a talk summarizing what they believe. So he invited a lot of people but, strangely enough, only the Mormon missionaries showed up. My brother came home. You're not going to believe what just happened. And said, tell me, today at school, there are those missionaries. And they were talking about Jesus and about a prophet here and about a book. And then that just caught my attention. When he said the word prophets in America, for some reason, it really just caught me. Because I remember growing up and thinking, wouldn't it be awesome to live in the time of the prophets? Wouldn't it be great to live in a time where we'd have guidance and it would, you would know what to do because we'd have somebody that would be talking to God and telling exactly what He wants us to do. And I remember growing up and, 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 and thinking about the great prophets of the Old Testament like Moses and thinking to myself how it would be really great to have a prophet nowadays and think to myself, if I knew of such prophet, I would follow him. I decided, when I see those Mormon missionaries passing by, I'm going to stop them and ask them. Then one day, I had a couple of missionaries knocking at my door. My mom, of course, threw them off. When I asked her, who is at the door? And she said, oh, just the missionaries. And I'm like, what, the Mormons? The Mormon missionaries? No, mom, don't throw them away. So just ran out the door. And they were, they were a little farther away, and then I started yelling, Hey, stop, stop! And then I started running after them, and they just, and they look at me like, What is she doing? Is that true that there are prophets here in America? And they just look at each other, and then they look back at me, and then, yeah. Could you just tell me what you believe? What are your beliefs? Can you just summarize them for me? So they decided to set up an appointment and so we could have we could have a talk and they they could explain to me about the church. I set up an appointment for the next Friday. So when they left, I just had this feeling that I, I didn't I didn't want to wait until Friday. But it was a little too late. They didn't have their phone number, so I couldn't just reschedule. I just have to wait until Friday. So then I got really excited for the appointment. And I remember they telling me that we were going to meet at a sister's house that was close to my house. So the time, I was so excited. The, the, time, the time came, and I didn't see them. And so when I noticed that they weren't there, I just to go look for them. And that's funny because how are you gonna be looking for missionaries that you don't know where they live? You don't know where they're coming from. So I just decided to cross the street and start looking for the house, the sister's house they were talking about. I had no idea where was the house. Just I just kept walking and something just told me exactly what house to knock. Could feel that though that was the house that Mormons were living in. I, I could feel that. So I knocked, at the I knocked at the house and then I talked to them and I introduced myself in a very weird way. Listen, I don't know you, you don't know me, but I'm supposed to be here <laughs> with some missionaries. And then the lady just looked at me strange and they said, oh yeah, that's true. So I got the house right. In our first appointment, I had one whole page full of questions. Things just started making sense to me. So when they taught me about Joseph Smith, then I started remembering about my first encounter with the Book of Mormon when I was about eight years old. And I remember the name Joseph, Joseph Smith. I believed in them. I came back home and I had this feeling that I never felt before in my life. I can only describe it as a drunkenness of happiness. Overjoy. It was just so overwhelming. And I was just so happy. I started telling everybody that I love them. And then I started calling my friends and saying, Listen, I love life. I love everything. <laughs> I was just so happy. I was just so happy. I couldn't describe it. It was just this amazing feeling. 
think I remember the missionaries telling me something about the Holy Spirit testifying to me, but I didn't put two and two together back then. The next time I meet the missionaries, I describe what happened and say, listen, right after talking to you, that's what happened to me. I had this overwhelming joy, this super happiness feeling, and they describe it to me. That's the Holy Spirit. Like, what? And it was, it was a real amazing, a really amazing feeling that I just, it's hard to describe. Then they invited me to go to church. I went. I was so excited. When I got into the church, we, we sit down for one of the lessons. Through the window, a sunbeam came. I just, I just can't describe it. It's really hard to describe what was that. I had this peaceful feeling. It was different than the last, than what happened a few days before. It wasn't this overwhelming joy. It was a peaceful, quiet feeling. And I looked down the window and there was a sunbeam coming and I just smiled because I really don't know. It just came down and this feeling came all over me. And there's, they were singing a hymn. So I think they were singing How Lovely Was the Morning. It's a hymn about the first vision of Just with Me. So I had this peaceful feeling. And that was something that was confirming to me that that's a good place for, be, for you to be at. And at the time, while I was receiving the lessons from the missionaries, I was also studying the Bible. And I was reading like crazy. As read, there was nothing, nothing in the Bible that was contradicting what they were teaching me. Everything that they were teaching me, I could find an answer in the Bible. So things just started becoming more clear to me. My mind started opening. And then when I started reading the Book of Mormon, I read the Book of Mormon and was like I recognized the voice of the Lord. It was like I heard this voice before and then I had somebody calling me. Basically, I was listening to the voice of my father. And when I started reading the Book of Mormon, I said, I recognize that voice. That's the voice of my father. I know that's the word of God. It's the same, it's the same word that comes out of the Bible. It's the same voice that comes out of the Bible. So that's when I gave my testimony about the Book of Mormon. And I knew that, that God was the one that brought that book. I start not have any more questions about the veracity of the church anymore. After I got baptized, then I really had a transformation. Because after being baptized by water, I received the Holy Ghost. And now I understand, because through the Holy Ghost, things just came clear to me. It was like a veil had just been taken out, out of my eyes. Before, I saw everything foggy, and now I could just see everything straight. It was just an, an amazing thing. All of a sudden, I just start seeing things straight, and I start understanding everything. And I was reading the Bible more and more, and reading all the manuals that I could read, more and more about the church, and about church history, and about church doctrine. And I had this thirst for learning, and I want to know more and more and more and more, and never stop. God just test me and when I obeyed him to get baptized he just transformed me by opening up all this knowledge to me and my faith just kept growing and growing and growing and growing and I changed it really I really changed my life I changed my habits I changed my view I had a goal I had a purpose I knew what I was here for I knew what I was going to I, I knew who I was. So the church brought me perspective. Brought, it gave me a purpose in life. Now I know exactly what I'm aiming for. I know exactly why I live day by day in what I should do. Now I live in this wonderful church, in this wonderful worldwide community. And I really love being a woman. Jesus Christ came to earth and he established his church and today his church is back. He called a young boy, Joseph Smith, and he just restored the gospel that had been lost.